tell me about how that first film quickly evolved into these back-to-back films that are broadcast for hours on Memorial Day. So for me, it was really interesting to think how the family sits in this equation, both as the kind of like, you know, voice of resistance to politics, but also a space that is a voice politics altogether that completely depoliticize military death, although military death is the most violent manifestation of politics. The other thing, of course, is that by sticking to privatized death, what we get is a very, very partial image of violence. So the subjects of that violence, Palestinians and Lebanese, are completely absent because the dead are private individuals. They're not soldiers who are messengers of violence on behalf of the Israeli state. 